this video we'll be looking into the important topics and formulae to understand before solving the questions of sampling distribution so uh, we need to know that there are uh, two types of sampling like random sampling that is with replacement and without replacement so let's let's deal with it one by one so first sampling with replacement so but the definition says that items are drawn one by one and are put back to the population before the next one is drawn so finding the mean the mean is a mu of x represented as mu of x that is mean of sample is equal to mean of population so the population this part is given in the question so it will be same as mean of sample now finding the variance the variance would be equal to variance of population by sample size so that is uh, sigma square by n so that is equal to variance so standard deviation is we know that is under root of variance so here oh uh, yeah so here it will be sigma x that is variance of x would be equal to variance by under root n so this is a uh, sampling with replacement now looking into the definition of sampling without replacement so if the items are drawn and not put back to the population before next one is drawn it is called as random sampling without replacement so here also the mean of sample is equal to mean of the given population and the next part is the variance so here there is slight uh, modification in the variance part so it is if variance of population is sigma square and variance of sigma sample is sigma x square so sigma x square would be capital n minus n by n minus 1 into sigma square by n so we have to understand that capital n and small n are two different entities so while solving the questions we'll look into what they are so yeah finding the variance under root of that would give us the uh, standard deviation now let's look into test of significance and confidence intervals topic so firstly understanding we know that z is standard normal variate standard normal variate that can be written as x bar minus mu by sigma into under root n right so here x bar is the sample mean mu is the mean of population then sigma is standard deviation and n is the size so we know that z is equal to x bar minus mu by sigma root n so this is standard normal variate so now depending on the value of z there are two intervals two intervals those are called as confidence intervals so one is of 5% significance level and the other one is 1% one significance level it can be also written as 5% significance level can also be written as 95% confidence level and here it can be written as 99% confidence level so what is this confidence level now let's uh, write it properly so first it will be z is equal to x bar minus mu by sigma root n we have said that z lies between these two values so for 5% it is 1.96 and for plus or minus 1.96 and for 1% it is plus or minus 2.58 so this is very important we have to remember this so here z value lies between these two values so let's write it minus 1.96 here x bar minus mu by sigma plus 1.96 so sending sigma there and uh, yes sending sigma there and mu down it could be written as x bar minus 1.96 sigma root 10 mu x bar plus 1.96 sigma root n so this is the mean like the mean would vary between these two intervals so similarly for uh, one percent significance level you can see it here right 
so now let's uh, discuss about the test of significance of proportions so first mean proportion can be written as mean by n we know the mean propo what is the value of mean that is np by n so it will be p here and coming to the standard deviation of proportion that is under root of npq by n so n here would be under root and this n will cancel so it will be under root pq by n so combining the mean proportion and standard deviation proportion we get the value of z as z is equal to x bar minus mu by sigma can be written as x minus np by under root npq so uh, i hope you have understood these topics you'll uh, you'll we'll further understand how to use them in the formula how to use them use these formula and solve the questions so uh, subscribe to my channel thank you